What's up everyone? Welcome to your 30 minute full body, no repeats workout. Today we're gonna do every single exercise just once for 45 seconds. We'll go through nine exercises and then we'll take a 30 second rest twice in our last nine exercises. We'll just go right through until the cool down. So be ready to move with me. I use anywhere from my 10 to my 20 pound dumbbells today. Some exercises are cardio and body weight, some are weighted, but stay in that light to medium range of dumbbells so we can keep on moving, all right? I'll see you in the workout, let's go. All right, let's grab onto your toe, pull heels to glutes. Welcome to your no repeats workout. This one's gonna go by quickly. We've got 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds rest. The exercise that's coming up next will be right here. If you wanna stop a couple seconds early to make sure you have enough time to transition, go ahead. But all you're gonna need today is dumbbells. So we should be totally fine having a couple options around us and just moving right into the next one. All right, let's speed that up. Got a little cardio today. 45 second work periods. However, I do want you to have a bit more power focus. Okay, so coming up quickly, curling with power. Good, wide stance, bent and straight leg. Good job, stop in the middle here. Bring your feet just a bit closer. Let's sit and stand. Two more. Good job, let's take it up top. Twist. Arms open and close. Good, backward circles. Exercise one in 20 seconds is gonna be a squat and press. One round through everything. After nine exercises, we'll take a 30 second break, but aside from that, it will be 15. All right, let's get started. Squat and press, I'm gonna use my 15s. And here we go. Great work. Good, give me power, you got 10. One more, three. Lay it down for bicycles. Good job. Here we go, five. Exhale, crunch up and go. Great job. Keep that little crunch going. You wanna make every single exercise Good quality from the beginning. You only hit it once. Okay, so do it well. And for the most part, we'll move on to a new intention or muscle group right after this. Good job, five. Got a bit of cardio, so come on up. Two, one, lateral slides. Okay, so you're stepping two steps to the right, two to the left. All right, make sure everything's out of the way off both sides of your mat. Two, one. There we go, good. Second half, come on.
Keep moving. You got six. Three. And rest. RDL and row. I'm gonna row with the left hand. Okay, your right leg is gonna stay down. Okay, so the same side leg just kicks back as you row. Let's go. Stand up, repeat. Good job. So the other leg that stays out front is doing a single leg deadlift. Bring it right back up. Good job, nine. Two, one, good job. All right, we're gonna switch sides. So I'm holding the dumbbell with my other hand. This leg kicks back. Ready? Two, one, let's go. Good job. Second half. Fifteen. Come on, one more big pull. Four, three. And rest. Plank drop downs or plank push ups, whatever you want to call them. We start in a high plank, we go elbows, back up to your hands. Ready, two, one, come on. Widen your feet out just a bit. Try to keep your hips in the same place versus lifting or going side to side too much. Nice job, 19. Two, and rest. All right, we go sumo, squat or deadlift, and curl. I'm gonna use my 15s. Wide stance, sit it down. Curl when you get to the top. Ready? Let's go. Good job, 17. One more, four. And rest. Now let's put those dumbbells on the edge of your mat. Okay, you're gonna march over them with your core. Okay, so you go one foot, two feet. You're just kind of scissor chopping outside, middle, outside. Let's go. Chop, 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 chop. Good job, keep your hips rolled back. Five. 
five. And rest. Come on up. Now these two dumbbells, you can put them together or you can just find a ledge or an imaginary space. You got toe taps. Okay. Two, one, let's go. Move your arms right past your hips, like you're sticking your hand in your pocket, not across your chest, like some armor. Right, pockets, pockets, pockets. Relax your shoulders, push, push. 12. Six. Three, two, and you've got your first 30 second rest. Grab water if you need it. Whew. We're gonna go into a lateral raise and reverse lunge up next, okay? I'm gonna go to my tens. Same thing with the sumo deadlift and curl. You'll complete the lunge, then come up and lift, okay? So grab the weight that works for you. We go in four. Let's go. See if you can get your knee down when you step back. Got a fun core challenge for you coming up next. So five, one more, two, good job. Take one of these dumbbells down to the floor. Seated, straight arm, twist. Okay, the movement is here. If you can hold a dumbbell, let's do it. Lean back. Let's go. This is very slow and controlled. Basically, we're extending the resistance from the lever point, which makes it a little tougher. And then I'm challenging you to stay isometrically reclined. which means you actively have to be thinking, pull my core, core keeps my hips back. Good job. Four, three, two, come on up. Good job. That was tough. We're gonna go heel tap jacks, okay? Coming up, tap, tap. If you stay on the ground, same thing. Three. You're doing great. Let's go. Nice work. Keep it up. Light on your feet. If you're staying on the ground, same thing. Just a little bounce. Stay on your toes. Whole body is involved here. Don't slow down, come on. 10. Good job. Three. Rest, grab those light dumbbells that you just used for your lateral raise. And we're gonna take them from a kneeling position right out front. Thumbs up, ready? Two, let's go. Let's come right down to our thighs so we're not swinging. And before you go, don't let your ribs open up here to kind of help you. Keep them neutral. Thumbs right up in front of your shoulders. 
Great work. 15. Four. Two. One. We've got bird dog rows now. You lift the left arm, kick the right foot. What you don't want to do is this. Keep it neutral. So row and lift the heel. All right. I'm going to go with my 15s. Let's get it. Right back to your ribs and hips. Don't lift to your chest. Master the power of being present here. Don't think about anything else. One rep. One rep. Great job. One more each arm. Two, one, good job. Take those dumbbells, pin them right behind your knees. If you want to grab a band, you can. We're going to drop down alternating fire hydrants. One leg at a time. We go in three. Let's go. Fifteen, good work. Six, you're almost there, good job. Last one, three, two, alternating shoulder press. If you wanna go a bit heavier, go for it. I'm gonna to go to my 20s because I want you to keep these dumbbells moving, okay? Start up top, three, let's go. One is lowering. And then as you press, you drop. Second half, come on, you got 19. Last one, three. Rest. Split squat with your left leg out front. Okay, whatever that looks like for you. Put your left leg in front of your right and we go up and down. Body weight or with dumbbells, up to you. Let's get it. Good job, front knee is out towards your pinky toe. Thirteen. Six. Good job, rest. All right, opposite leg. Okay, this is your next 45, just switch legs. So right leg out front, or whatever leg you did not just do. Let's go. Find a spot on the floor or on the wall, stare right at it. I'll keep you updated on time. You just keep sitting down. 
Good job. 18. Push hard. Six, five. And rest. You've got your second and final 30 second rest period. All right, after this, we're going through the rest of the workout. 45 seconds of work, 15 rest. You're doing incredible. 15 seconds. We're gonna start up with a sit up and twist. Okay, first 45 seconds is to the left. And then right after that, we rest and go to the right. Doing good? Whew. Let's go, two, one. Two, one, rest here for 15, and then we will repeat the same move, just taking it to the right, or the opposite side for you. Ready? Three, two, exhale, roll it up. Come on, you're in the last third of your workout right now. Six. Two, one. Take that dumbbell over your head. You're gonna start with your legs up over your hips and you're gonna drop them and flutter. Okay? If you can use this dumbbell overhead for an anchor, I'd love for you to do that. Two, one. Good job with your core. I know it's three in a row here. We're moving on after we finish this 45. Away from your core, mostly. Although your core is always involved, but. More of a full body, mostly arm movement up next. 10. Three, two, Quick transition, flip right over into a plank position, and then walk back to your toes, inchworms. Okay, you can add a push up at the end if you're able. If you're working on those right now and you just wanna move, that's fine too. Challenge yourself where you're at today. Two, one. Good job. Everyone's gonna end with one push up, whether you've done them the whole time or not. So if you're just walking minus the push up, very last rep will be adding that push up in. Beautiful, you got 10 seconds, and we're all gonna end with the push up together. Ready? Five. Walk it out. Three. Push up. Two. And rest, come on up. Crisscross jacks. If you're staying on the floor, looks like this. Okay, if you're hopping, looks like this. Hands out, feet out, cross both. Let's go. Keep your knees bent. Make sure belly is not out here. Stack, knees are bent. 
And keep breathing. Good job. If you need to take a little bit more weight on one foot at a time, take it to the side. Cross. Seven. Four. Dumbbell swings. I'm gonna use my 15. Just think of a kettlebell swing. Feet are right under your hips. Okay. Hinge, neutral. Ready? Three, two, let's go. And a little bit of a squat here. A little more of a squat versus a kettlebell swing. Good job. Second half. You're almost there. Ten. Three. And rest. Put those dumbbells down on the ground. We can throw burpee in with those dumbbells. Burpee back, jump up to wide feet, and then hinge to stand. Three. Let's go. Right before you take off, check your spine. If it's rounded a lot, try to exhale and embrace your lats then drive through your heels. And if you end up back here for your deadlift after you come out of your plank, step up wide outside, then go through with it. Good job, nine, eight. One more, four. Rest, and we go into a plank hold, all right? On your forearms if you can, on your hands if you need to, on your knees if you need to regress it just a little bit more. Let's go. Great work. You're still breathing, right? 20. Almost there. Seven, six. Come on, come on, come on. Hold it. Three, two, one. 15 seconds rest. Whew. Last one. We've got an all out sprint here. This is it. If you're staying on the ground, you're going knee taps. If you're doing high knees with me, you gotta go. Three, two, one, come on, all out. Good job, 15 down, let's go a little quicker. Second half, go, go, go. Stay right here with me, come on. Last 10, go, go. Up, 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 five. Faster, three, two, one. Breathe. Hands on your knees, wide stance. Fill your lungs up with air. You've made it to your cool down. Whew. Way to go. Very proud of you for that one. Proud of the way you started this workout and the way you finished it. We did it together. Whew. Hands up. Keep breathing. Pull. 
Good work today. I want you to catch your breath. I want you to be proud of what you just accomplished and I want you to go forward in this day and do something that scares you. Whatever you are thinking right now, that's it. That's what I want you to do. I give you a second for something to come to your mind. Now do that thing. And if it's nighttime right now, write it down. You're doing it tomorrow. If it's a conversation you need to have, if it's education, you finally need to dive into your macros. If it's just trying a new hobby, just reaching out to someone, following up with someone, whatever it is, something that scares you, you're doing that today. Because what you just accomplished on the mat and the way that your mind got you through that can't go to waste. We're training our bodies here, but we're also training our minds to see you can get through hard things. Okay, you can step up to the plate. You can approach this workout and whatever you're thinking, you know you're just not gonna quit until it's done. Same thing with that thing that is on the front of your mind right now. Worst thing that can happen is that it doesn't work out and you learn from it. Okay, I've had so many times where I thought, this is it, this is going to be epic. Just didn't work out. I don't even remember a lot of those things, but now I know every time I try something and it doesn't work out or I fail at it or it's not what I expected, I learn to do it better next time. I learn how to craft my approach better next time. I learn what to say in conversations. I learn what not to say in conversations, okay? Same goes for you. Whatever you're thinking about, don't think about all the things that could potentially happen that are horrible. Think more about what could potentially happen that is amazing on the other side of that decision to just try. No matter what, you're gonna keep moving through life. So why not think the amazing thing could happen right after I just take this risk and go for it, all right? I believe in you, you gotta believe in you as well, but even if you don't, do it anyways, you got this. I'll see you back here for our next workout. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you back here tomorrow.